Hello everyone and welcome to another Microsoft Excel tutorial for civil engineers and in this video I'll be sharing with you how to do flood estimation using Gumbel's method. So let's get started over here and we can see that I have 24 pieces of data here so 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 and the first step is to always determine your y bar n and your sn values so y bar n is your reduced mean in Gumbel's extreme value distribution. And since we have 24 pieces of data, we need to look at n is 20 and head to the 4. So we need to type up 0 0.5296 here. And for our, for our reduce standard deviation, all we need to do is go to n is 20 and go to 4. So it's 1.0. 864. So the second step is to calculate your average, your x bar. Just type average, open bracket, and select this entire set of data and hit enter. So the next step is to calculate our standard deviation. So to do this, all you need to do is type up equal sign STDEV, and you'll see that there are quite a few options over here but we'll mainly focus between P and S. So since our data is only a sample and not the population, so therefore we must choose the S uh, version over here because if we choose P, we might uh, be getting the wrong standard deviation. And just select this whole set of data here and just hit enter and you've already calculated your standard deviation. Nice and simple. No need for uh, manual calculation or, you know, calculating the x minus x bar squared part of the equation. You just need to type up the formula stdev.s and that's it. So the next step is to calculate our yt value. So t is equal to 100 over here. And it represents our return period of 100 years. So type up equal minus ln which is your natural logarithm ln and select 100 here and divide it by 100 minus 1 hit enter and it's already calculated next we need to calculate our k value so to do this just type up equal sign brackets yt which is this value here minus your reduced mean y bar n divided by your reduced standard deviation so which is this value over here hit enter and it's already done so now we need to calculate the last value here which is xt so x is the possible discharge in your river if you have a return period t in this case it's 100 years so type equal sign x bar plus in brackets k multiplied by a standard deviation and when you hit enter you should get this value here for this specific data set over here so therefore we can estimate that according to Gumbel's method the return period of 100 years would give us a maximum discharge in the river of 55.54 cubic meters per second. So that's all about Gumbel's method really. It's quite simple and I'm pretty sure if you learn some basic high school math, you can pretty much do it. So I really hope that you find this video useful and if you want to watch more videos on Microsoft Excel's use cases for civil engineers, do consider subscribing. And uh, in the next Microsoft Excel tutorial, I will be showing you how to use the log Pearson and log normal methods for flood estimation. So please stay tuned. And as always, I hope you're safe and keep learning. Goodbye.